How long do you think it would take to design this using conventional surfacing tools? Probably quite a while. The truth is, to stay relevant these days, you've got to have more shape and style baked into your designs than ever before. The problem with that is that sometimes it's difficult converting those ideas into fully functional CAD models. Fortunately, we have a tool like X-Shape that takes a simpler freeform approach that allows you the flexibility to design how you want to on any device. Let's see how we can leverage X-Shape to complete a sleek and really stylish exterior for this sea scooter design. Our new component is going to start with a few reference images and then we'll drop some primitive shapes that give us an easy starting point. We can then push, pull, scale, and even rotate the sub D elements to sculpt any type of shape that we can imagine. You can add or remove edges or subdivide faces if you need more localized control. And the great thing is that curvature continuity is maintained automatically, so you don't have to worry about that. If you need a sharp edge, all you have to do is just add a crease and you can make those adjustments on the fly. Now, I know that we all like to think that we can design everything ourselves and we don't need any help from anyone, but the truth is that the design world of today is more collaborative than ever before. Fortunately, with X-Shape and the 3D Experience platform, we have built-in tools like pop-up notifications and task management that makes it really easy to collaborate on design projects. One of my favorite features in X-Shape is the ability to align sub-D elements to sketches or model geometry from other components. So this allows you to achieve a really high level of precision with numeric inputs. So you can be as precise as you need to be. You can turn on symmetry to automatically mirror changes, add more material with the extrude command, or even insert a brand new sub-D model. We can make irregular selections with the lasso tool, and my favorite, you can align sub-D elements to a curve that can be drawn right on the screen. You've really got to try this out with using something like an iPad. It's, it's just super intuitive. Sometimes manipulating a, a sub-D body can cause surfaces to intersect, and that's where the mesh inspection tool really comes into play and allows us to isolate these issues. We can even use the cage view, and that makes it pretty easy to just refine these problematic areas. The net surface command allows you to create sub D surfaces based on pre-existing sketches or curves, which lets them be very precise. And then you can push and pull these sub D surfaces as needed using the flexibility of sub D modeling. So it's like you're marrying precision with flexibility. Multiple sub D bodies can then be combined into a master model and split up into individual components for manufacturing. And finally, handing off the design once you're finished with it is as easy as dragging the updated model into a task and then moving it to the complete phase, which is going to notify any of the appropriate parties. Manufacturing details can then be added in XDesign or in SolidWorks Desktop, so you can use whatever application you want to choose. And as these designs continue to evolve, you can make new revisions with the built-in cloud data management or you can even create a branch whenever it's time to explore a completely different concept. X-Shape's freeform environment allows you to create the complex shapes and surfaces that today's design environment demands more easily than ever before. Collaborate with teammates to take your designs from concept to production, all from a browser on any connected device.